in this video let us see how to plot drain characteristics of nmos so let us do it in lt spice for that click on file click on new schematic so a blank schematic got created now here i want to place the components in order to draw the schematic i wrote some of the key points here so you need to press the shortcut f2 to select the component so click on f2 now first what i want is i want nmos so type here as nmos if you observe here this is a three terminal device whereas nmos4 is a four terminal device means the body is not connected to the source so better i'm going with nmos which is a three terminal device here body is connected to the source click on okay let me place it here now click on escape so read this particular point press escape or right click after placing every component this is the thing which you need to do every time or else multiple components will get placed so once after placing every component either press escape in your keyboard or else simply do a right click using your mouse now let me place the voltage source for that again same thing click on f2 type here as voltage so this is a voltage source i'll place it here and one more thing is here simply right click nmos is a three terminal device this is called as gate this terminal is called as source this is called as drain so there will be two potentials one at the input side one at the output side so here if i apply a voltage source between gate and source we call it as vgs if i apply a potential between drain and source we call it as vds so for better understanding what i'll do is i'll try to rename this particular thing so simply right click on this v1 to change the name i'll rename it to vgs okay similarly vds done now let me make the connections by using this particular wire so i'm done with the connections and here it should be connected to the ground so click this ground and place it here okay now we need to apply different voltages at the input side as well as output side to plot the graph as i told you i will plot the graph of drain characteristics so read this particular thing drain or output characteristics are plotted between ids and vds means current from drain to source and voltage between drain to source so ids will be on y axis vds will be on x axis so before that we need to apply some dc value here so simply click on vgs right click i am giving the value of dc as 5 similarly right click here give some potential as 5 done now click on simulate edit simulation commands so here we shall do dc sweep analysis so read this particular thing for dc sweep first source that you will give will be treated as x axis means suppose if first source if you are giving as vds then vds will be plotted on the x axis and second axis if you give it as vds then y axis will be treated as vds depending upon the source that you are choosing so let me show you what is this dc sweep so dc sweep there are three sources here so in our particular schematic there are two sources one is vgs and one more thing is vds so i want drain characteristics for drain characteristics vds should be on x axis so choose this one as first source so as i want vds on the x axis select it as first source so first source vds sweep type is linear starting value is 0 stop value is 5 increment is 1 next second source second source is vgs sweep is linear starting value 0 stop value is 5 increment is 1 click on okay place it somewhere here done now click on simulate run so as i want drain characteristics so at this particular drain terminal give a left click done i got the graph between ids and vds so let me zoom it so if you observe here this y axis indicates ids x axis indicates vds so as there are multiple graphs available for different values of vgs i want only one graph so what i'll do is right click view select step so let me choose fifth one means step number 5 for which vgs is 4 click on okay okay i got one graph now now 
at each and every point i want to calculate the voltage and current for that what i'll do is simply i'll click on id i'll get some cursor like this so if you observe here a number is visible called as one so you can drag it either left or right see here suppose i'll place it here at this point if you observe on the x-axis the voltage is 1.5 the same thing is visible here and on the y-axis some current is there between 80 microamps and 100 microamps the accurate value you can view it here which is 95.01 microamperes now let me drag it to some other location i'll place it here so at this point if you observe the voltage is 4 volt approximately 3.99 is 4 and on the y-axis it is 160 microamperes the same thing you can view it here but it is very precise similarly you can drag it see after a certain amount of time the current is getting saturated so this is how we plot drain characteristics of nmos now in order to plot transfer characteristics we need to make certain changes so if you want transfer characteristics on the y-axis ids will be there and on the x-axis vgs will be there now a small change is vgs should be the x-axis right so choose it as the first source this is the only change which you need to do so i'm going back to my figure click on simulate edit simulation command so here first source now it should be vgs second one should be vds click on ok so if you observe here dc sweep dot dc means dc sweep vgs is changing from 0 to 5 with increment of 1 similarly vds is changing from 0 to 5 with increment of 1 so as they are called as transfer characteristics so transfer characteristics means on the y-axis it should be ids and on the x-axis it should be vgs done so let us check what will happen simulate click on run so let me click it here and i got some graph let me elaborate this thing so i want to view only for one value so right click view select steps similarly i'll go with step number five vds is four okay see here you got some graph which is called as transfer characteristics graph so in order to see the value of it click on this id place your cursor somewhere so at this point the value of voltage is 2.5 now this voltage is vgs means voltage between gate to source and current is ids so the accurate value you can view it here horizontal indicates voltage vertical indicates current so voltage is 2.49 and current is 64.90 microamperes similarly let me place the cursor here if you observe the voltage is approximately 4.5 and current is 200 microamperes so these are the transfer characteristics of nmos for step 5 which is for vds is equal to 4 volt